Are you going to knock Clarissa out? I'm going to wreck Clarissa. She knows this. I'm going to wreck Clarissa. You're going to what? Hurt you. <laughs> I would like to understand more of what you say, but all right. First, you just said it's going to be the toughest fight of your life. Then it's going to be a knockout. Then you're going to knock me out in two I minutes. I once said I was going to knock you out. What? I haven't. When oh my I got God. Said, I'm going to knock and Clarissa Shears out. And you think you're lying in front of these people? What it is? Somebody sent me the clip where she said she's going to knock me out in less than two rounds in two minutes. Oh, wait, I seen it with my own get eyes. Because we'll be here all I night. I seen it with my own eyes. Call me David in the lion's den. I'm going to walk out with her. I'm going to walk out with her head just like this. I'm not worried about Savannah Marshall. I came over here. I'm a star in America. Don't don't get it twisted. I didn't have to come over here. I signed soon as Eddie Hearn said he didn't have Savannah Marshall no more. We started talking to boxing and we said, let's make this fight happen. Nobody was ever running from her. Nobody was scared to come over here and fight her. We was like, let's do it, because me and my team know I'm about that. And I and I'm gonna get busy on Saturday night. And she knows that too. So while you doing all this talking, you better come in there with that. With that smoke. And you better punch as hard as you say you can because if you ain't got no punching power, oh my God, it's going to be a hard night for you. Not true. You fought against girls 3 and 25, 11 and 75, um, 11 wins, 75 losses, 3 and 25. You supposed to knock them out. No lie. You supposed to knock those girls out. But when you fight against 24 and 0, 10 knockouts, 21 and 0, 10 knockouts, girls of that, girls of that caliber, it's very hard to knock them out. Why is and it very hard to knock them out? It's going to be hard for you to knock me out. Why is it very hard to knock them out? What do you mean, why is it hard? Because they're if competitive. Land, if you land on someone, you hurt them. If you land on a bum. Down. If you what? land on a bum. What? And that means if you, you land on a bum. Have I been knocked out? When I'm talking about you. Have, about well, you. I fought against other world champions yeah. who had knockouts like you them, and I haven't been knocked out. you hurt them, they go down. If you land on them and you've got you a pillow on bums, fist, girl. they're not going to go anywhere. You're landing on bums. What? And that means that you can't go down? I would love to see you do it Saturday. It's okay. You can say well, whatever you want to say, but I'm better than you. I've been better than you since I was 17. Why can't you beat me then? Didn't I win the Olympics? We're talking about that. We're yeah, talking we about are. me and you. We're going to talk about something that happened to yeah, you. We're going to talk about from, the Olympics. We're going from knocking people out to being so 17 I, so I to Olympic Hold Games. On. I lost. Control it. I lost. Self control. 2012. Steady. Two months later, won the Olympics. Then 2014 World Championships. You were there, sweetheart. Gold medal again. Five days back to back. Walk through them. My bad. 2016 World Championships. We there again, boo. Oh my God. Not Clarissa got a world a good gold again. And then the Olympics, you, oh my God. Was she there? Yes. Watching me be gold medalist again. And you better than me? How? You cannot live off something that happened 10 years ago. And we both been pro five years, sis. I'm a 12 time world champ. Oh my God. Right. Stop. Where we at now? Stop. Look at Savannah and say what you want to say. I don't got to look at her. She a bum. And I'm going to show everybody on Saturday that it's skills to this. It's levels. I'm not about to play with her. She think I'm still 17. Girl, I'm 27. You about to learn. You about to get schooled. I'm about to Sugar Ray Leonard her. What do you want to say? Final words. We, uh, there's nothing left to say. I can't yeah. wait for Saturday. Let's yeah, just get I it on. Yeah. Mm. Listen, do you believe you can stop Michaela? Absolutely. Again, I've been claiming it, speaking about it, letting her know each and every day from the beginning, from when we accepted this fight, that I was coming after her and that I would beat her Saturday night. What's going to happen, Michaela? What kind of fight are you expecting? I'm expecting a performance of my life. I feel like, I'll, you know, contrary to what she's saying, that I have not developed or grown anymore that I'm the same fighter is absolutely not true. I'm constantly getting better. I still don't even feel like I've hit my peak. And I want to put it all together in this fight. I want to embarrass her. I want to make her sound stupid because she said a lot leading up to this fight. And the truth is, whether she likes me or not, on paper, whether she likes me or not, whether she likes the way I box, anyone, on paper, I am her absolute biggest test. I'm a multiple-time world champion. I'm an Olympian. I've defended my belts multiple times, 17 wins. She has not fought anyone with my type of resume. So she has to admit that, own that, accept that, and I hope she trained for that. Alicia, is Michaela your biggest test? Listen, that's great, all those attributes that she listed. But then again, it doesn't matter come Saturday night because a fighter like me will beat that, and that's going to be embarrassing on her record that someone 
who came out of the woodwork, became a world champion, who doesn't have experience, who doesn't have this, who doesn't have that, is going to beat her. So that's great. But Saturday night, you're going to see that. We know the fight is Saturday night. Like, you keep saying that. Like, and I'm going to keep saying it again. Let me just remind you, Saturday night, I will beat you. There's no respect. At the end of the day, this is the fight game. This girl is trying to beat me. I want to beat her. I have great sportsmanship, but I don't respect her. She, she, she talks too much. And when, you, when someone talks too much, you got to shut them up. And that's what I'm going to do Saturday night. Who wants this more? Who wants to win, have the hand raised? Who wants to be unified more? Well, we, we told you this yesterday. I, I believe I want it more. I'm sure she believes she wants it more, too. But um, listen, she doesn't have much to lose. She just showed up on the scene. If she goes somewhere, no one's going to miss her. I have a lot to prove because I've been running in this division for a long time. That's why she's so mad at me. I've been running in this division for almost 10 years now. I'm not just talking about the pros. I'm talking about the amateurs. So she's known my name. She's been coming for my name for a long time. I have a lot to prove. I have, I have worked extremely hard to hold this, to get to this position, and I'm not going to let her take it away from me. And that's the biggest part. She's triggered that somebody, little old Alicia Bumgarner, the bomb, just coming into her backyard to beat her. She doesn't like it. It's triggering. She understands that it's a tough pill to swallow, that I'm going, I'm going to beat her. And um, it's just going to be great come Saturday night. I've said it all. I have nothing else to say. I'm ready to go. I'm ready for weigh-ins tomorrow. I'm ready to go step in the ring and, and get this done because it's been, it's been dragged out, obviously. Um, for an extra five weeks, again, Todd said it great. Kudos to everyone who was able to pull this together and make this happen again because a lot of people had to work together. The, the, the training camps, the fighters, the teams, the networks, the promoters, and we did it. We're here. I'm grateful for that, and I'm ready to go. What do you want to say to Michaela? Again, I'm excited to be in this moment. The fight with Terry Harper was just a fraction of who I am. I have progressed daily. As an athlete, I'm always progressing. I'm never the same fighter. My skill set has been just added on to. I have world-class trainers. I have a great team behind me. I have people who believe in me, and I believe in myself. There's, it's, just, it comes, it's just different when you believe in yourself, and I believe what I can do, what I can achieve, what I wrote, what I spoke about. And Saturday night... I'm just ready to put it all out there. I have prepared very well for this fight. Very well. All one, X's and O's. Um, I have one thing that are, I would like to. So let me ask finish. For. Let me finish because You're you've been interrupting. IBO let me finish. Bell. Can you, Why do you keep bringing? Okay, so the, let me let me no check, let me check this girl real quick. Hold on, let me check this girl real quick. Can you can you chill? Can you chill public. for a second? Let me check this so girl real quick. Why? Look, let me check you real quick. This girl again is she's trying every angle. This girl is mad about an IBO belt that I won with my title. I'm very proud you're to have. You're confusing my, the no, public. No, 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 I'm not. Because I'm belt's proud. already listen, confusing. I'm trying listen, to make it very You're trying to. You're trying to listen. It's I know that you're trying line, to go with this. So go take it pictures does, with it on Instagram. No, it's okay. But don't bring it. Don't y'all see, see this? Y'all see how you she hating keep right it. now? Y'all see how she hating right now? Because my belt's over there. It's just like, facts. Like I don't want to confuse you, people. There's no one's confused. No one's confused. Nobody is confused. Maybe not you. I know a lot of people are confused. You're upset right now. Look how upset she's getting because my IBO belt is sitting over there. Girl, I'm happy around that belt. You and should, the WBC should, right next to it. it. But it's not and the line. WBC right next to it. So you, but you talk about the, the wrong line. things. You're talking about the wrong things. Just know. Let's just if, be honest. If the IBO anyways, becomes can part we, of the four belt era and helps you to go into we can about talk about giving three percent of my purse to them. But for now, they're not. We're talking about things that don't matter. I'm getting the biggest payday of my life. More money than this woman. Thanks to me. And I'm so excited. I accepted this fight. We're here Saturday night. I'm so thankful again to be in this moment. The women that have came before us, women empowerment. This is everything that young girls are looking up to. And, and I'm excited to see this. Everyone has a different story. Everybody has a different process and how they got here. I told myself I didn't have to win a gold medal or go to the Olympics, that I would be a world champion. And that's exactly what I did. And here I am again, Saturday night, unifying the division and beating Michaela Mayer. She will forever remember my name, say my name. Saturday night.